Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and today I'm bringing you my first ever book haul! <laughs> so the first book on my book haul is Chasing the Star by Mallory Blackman. It is a book, of course it is a book. <laughs> um, this book is basically a sci-fi and essentially it is a love story and it's about these two characters whose lives collide and they fall in love. I don't know what year the book is set in but I'm assuming it's somewhere um, in the far future and the main character Olivia and her twin brother are on their way back to Earth and they're the only survivors in the crew so I'm assuming they're in some kind of like spaceship. And Nathan, he's the other character, he's on his way out of Earth um, and I think his crew, his, his spaceship was um, attacked and I think that's how they met. Olivia essentially helps, I think um, Nathan's like shipped and that's how they sort of like met. The first book I read by Mallory Blackman is actually her Noughts and Crosses series and I love that book. I read that when I was in um, secondary school, when I was in year eight or nine. I read it in school and I really, really loved that book that I actually went, um, went to, uh, that I actually went ahead and um, went to the library and borrowed it. Uh, I borrowed the series. I think I did finish reading the whole series because I really loved it. So I'm looking forward to reading um, one of her books again because she's an awesome writer. The next book on my book haul is 12 Nights by Bradley Bewley? Bewley? For you? I'm sorry guys, I'm really bad at pronouncing surnames but that's basically it. That's, that's a surname. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm butchering someone's name. Sorry guys, it's 12 Kings by Bradley Bewley or Bolu. It reminds me of Throne of Glass, can't you see like the, the, the picture? So I picked it up and it has assassins in it as well and from what I've read from the blurb, it's all about um, secrets and like, you know, hiding this secret and obviously secrets comes out, you know, secrets cannot like don't stay hidden forever so yeah I'm looking forward to, to, to reading this book also my book haul is The Witch of Salt and Storm by Kendall Kolpa so, yeah this book is about a witch as the title says the witch's name is Avery Rowe and all she ever wanted was to become a witch and to basically help protect um, the Whaler at Sea. I, I don't know much about this book um, but that's what I've read from the blurb and apparently these witches cannot actually be killed. For some reason Avery foresaw her murder um, and yeah it sounds very interesting. As this sticker says, it says the most anticipated de um, debut of the year so I'm I'm anticipating reading this, so yeah. The next book is Nexus by A.L. Davro. I'm not really into sci-fi most of the time, but I seem to have picked up um, quite a few. But for some reason, this just called to me, and it also reminds me of Ready Player One by Ernest Cline. I mean, that's one other book that I really want to read as well, and I haven't read that yet. And yeah, it reminds me of that book in a sense that it's all about virtual reality as well, games um game virtual re reality games this book is basically about a girl called ella who lives in a domed city called evanescence um where appearance is basically everything she's a natural born um and i think everyone is genetically altered to look perfect and she wants to fit in unfortunately um there was a tragic accident and she um, lost her father and i think it had some kind of like physical effect on her as well um she must have like lost a limb or something um and because she's not perfect anymore um she wanted an escape and the only escape that she could find is this game called Nexus which was developed by her father and there she met this guy called Gusta and it's basically like you know their relationship but apparently Nexus isn't quite what everyone thinks it is so um, she gets into like this survival mode and stuff so yeah it looks really interesting the cover itself and I'm really looking forward to reading it so another book on my book haul is 
Dream a Little Dream by Kirsten Gare. It's about this girl called, called Liv who has really weird dreams like everyone else. She dreams about these four boys as well and these four boys actually go to her new school in London. These boys seem to know personal things about her, things that they could have couldn't have possibly known unless they um, are in her dreams. And I love Kirsten Gear. I liked um, the Ruby Red trilogy. It was an easy read, so I really like that. So I'm looking forward to reading this book as well. A nice safe, the best for last. When I first saw the cover, I was just like, dang on the cover, like I must have it. And then I read the blurb and I was like, ooh. I really want to read that. Um, this book is First Life by Jenna Shaw Walter, and it's a signed edition. Um, see, guys, look, look at this cover. Oh, 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 oh! Look at this cover. It has like these dark-looking, grim-looking place, and then at the bottom you have this paradise. It looks so pretty. Let me just read the blurb to you guys, okay? I've been told history is written by survivors, but I know that isn't always true. My name is Tenley Lockwood, and very soon I'll be dead. This is my story, but the end is only the beginning. Tenley, ten, Lockwood is an average 17-year-old girl who has spent the past 13 months locked inside the Prin Asylum. Ooh, she's in an asylum. The reason, not her obsession with numbers, but her refusal to let her parents choose where she'll live after she dies. There is an eternal truth most of the world has come to accept. First life is merely a dress rehearsal and real life begins after death. In the ever life, two realms are in power, Troika and Myriad, long-time enemies and deadly rivals. Both will do anything to recruit Ten, including sending their top laborers to lure her to their side. Soon, Ten finds herself on the run, caught in a wild tug of war between the two realms that will do anything to win the right to her soul, who can, who can she trust? What if the realm she's drawn to isn't home to the boy she's falling for? She just has to say, stay alive long enough to make a decision. See? This is so cool! I really like the concept, concept of it. It's all to do with life and death and um, as and there's also you know a love story anyway guys that is it for today look out for part two of my book haul please subscribe if you like this video give it a thumbs up see you guys later bye